HPD, HPD, OMFG, HPD, 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 everybody look and see. See that cake, it's not for free. HPD, HPD, everybody look and see. H E H P D. Happy fifth birthday, Boku Askew TV. Then there was that time I boffed on my birthday cake. Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome to Boku Askew TV's fifth birthday bash. I'm your host, Cinnamon Charles. And I'm your host, Diamond Dumont. What an excessively weird adventure it's been, folks. And to think it all started five years ago today. Where does the time go? I'll tell you where. Into the void of hours and days that pass into years and decades, only to realize you've become nothing more but a dried-up, shriveled old prune hag. Yikes. Okay, so now we'd like to take you on a journey through time and space, through a multiverse of our very own. Let's go. What? I said, wow, that sure was a blast from the past. Indeed it was, D. Folks, as you can see, me and D like to dabble in the visual and creative arts in our spare time. And we love it when you guys send us your art. So up next we have our favorite arty arts that you guys have sent us over the years. Check it out. Happy fifth birthday, Fashion Trashin'. This is Dot Matrix, hostess of The Girly Show on Co-op Community Radio. Big, big Fashion Trashin' fan. And I love y'all because you are aggressively talented, aggressively creative, aggressively independent, aggressively glamorous, and aggressively wonderful. I adore you aggressively here is to five more years at least five more years of fashion trashing love you and happy birthday finally i'm finished with this damn thing oh yeah let me see holy crap d that's a freaking masterpiece that's okay i guess let me see yours yikes i'm still learning d Speaking of learning, if you know us, we love to learn about the trends of the future. So why don't we take a look back at some of my pitch-perfect predictions and predications. Please. Nobody asked you, Cinnamon. Thank goodness it's time for that part of the show. It's time for that part of the show. It's time for that part of the show. It's time for that part of the show that we like to call Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. Whoa. 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 Vision, 
man, these ladies at Fashion Trash and have no idea how hard we work backstage. I mean, it's not easy to move around these lights when all you can do with your arms is this. Why don't you move it like a regular puppet, you know, like this? Huh. Tastes sort of like peanut butter and cigarettes. Don't look at me. I'm union. I don't ask questions. Hi there folks, Uncle Pete here from the Uncle Pete Show on radio and Uncle Pete's Dark Vault on TV and me and my buddy Max and Stone Dog and our good pal Mick over there. We're listening to a little Yard Panther and getting up a celebration because it's the fifth anniversary of Boku SQ TV. So we decided for a fifth anniversary, we get a fifth of vodka, a fifth of scotch, a fifth of rye, a fifth of bourbon, and a... What's this stuff again? Yeah, we gotta get a few more fifths of that. And a fifth of whatever that stuff is. And we just been to the salon today, one of the poshest in the area, to all get our uh, special celebration dues, or the uh, bow dues, as they call them at the salon. So, it's time for a party. Congratulations, Erica, Jessica, Cinnamon, Diamond, and the whole cast, crew, and creative minds over there at Boku SU TV. Happy fifth anniversary and lots more anniversaries ahead, we hope. Don't you? That's right. And you know what? After we're done fifthing it here, we're gonna head down to Bucky Wilds, Corn Cobbery, and Funtarium for a little more celebration because you never know. We might just run into Cinnamon Charles down there, huh? So happy anniversary, Boku Rescue TV! Cinnamon. Ooh, sorry, Max. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Uh-oh, Cinnamon. Looks like someone might have a crush on you. Let's hope he doesn't turn out like my last boy. My third nostril tingles wildly as we are gathered I'm, I'm, here You're late! What, what kind of muffins are these anyway? You are gonna love this. The John Cinnamon Mini Muffins. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Until one of them dies. Well, I'm sorry you don't like them, but you don't have to be rude. No, you don't understand. I'm deathly allergic to cinnamon. Cinnamon, back up. You're making him sick. Not hurt. The spice. The spice. It's the spice. Sorry, not sorry. I mean, I've been known to be a little sassy at times, but this is definitely an overreaction. No, the <coughs> mini muffins. They were cinny mini muffins. Cinny mini muffins. What? Don't look at me. I didn't kill him. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? We just watched... He's dead, D. He died. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, you know who else is dead? Me. After peeping out all these rad snaps of everyone's merch. Check it out. You know, D, that was a super weird segue. I know. <laughs>
but the sound wasn't coming from outside at all. It was coming from out of his butt. Ah! Whoa, sorry, didn't see you guys there. We here at Fashion Trash and just absolutely love Halloween and all the spooky kookiness. That's why our Halloween show is always the biggest, raddest, most baddest episode of the year. What do you say? Let's flash back to some of our favorite Halloween memories. Boo, that's what I say. Now that was scary. Tonight, the terror begins again. <laughs> Werewolves in the night, dancing with the bench to the morning light, giving off quite a fright. It's quite the sight! Graveyard's place to be, shaking while the creatures make a tasty beast, while the reapers be in a creep. You guys like porcelain clown dolls? Wow, D, that was utterly terrifying. I wish there was a way to wash the horror from my eyeballs, but instead I suppose I'll live with the trauma forever. Yeah, that was scary. But you know what's really scary? Rewatching our first episode. Ah! <sighs> so come along with us as we review the horrors of Fashion Trash in Episode 1, P-Listers. Let's go! A fashion. A trashion. Are you ready for a creange binge? What? Talking trash. Then I was like, what are we going to eat for lunch? Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fashion. Goodness Dragon. gracious, look how flat my face was back then. Thank goodness for Photox. My face went numb for about a year after I got it, but it's totally worth it if you ask me. I've got to tell you guys about the newest trend that all the movie stars are rocking, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is fiber optic hair. Ooh, I love it. Yikes. Do I always sound like that? Look at us floating around and bumping into each other like a couple of rogue balloons on a blustery day. Do we have a picture of Gigi? Whatever happened to Gigi Gorgonzola? Remember? She did that cheesy thing. Oh my gosh. She would. Right. No, that cheesy thing, Don't the movie. I mean, Beyonce me, did the soundtrack. She, she would, too. In the river, no, you're I thinking of Sweetie Saint God. Silva. She was in both She Would I'm and totally She Would, too. For without all the noy noy bears. It's so weird. It's like my mouth isn't even moving along with the words. I noticed. It's subtle. Then, the star of The Art of a Short Story, a long play by Xavier Fontaine. Are we being lit by a flashlight? Oh, I mean, do we have a I've seen better lighting in a sensory deprivation tank. Oh, what a hot mess. I mean, look at that dress. She makes me sick. I'm gonna puke. Somebody give me a bucket! W-H-A-T-T-F. What's that all about? She is gross. And I mean, those nails. Honey, is your manicure was blind? I actually kind of love that manicure, though. Edgy. Now it's time for the part of the show that we like to call Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. What? D, your hair is all over my okay, face God. like a plate I of butter noodles. Promise, but I am predicting that the hottest look for spring is totally going to be Viking chic. I'd still rock that look. It's truly Ooh, timeless. It's so hot. I love it. I'm in purgatory right now. I know, right? It's going to be like so hot. Like people are just going to start spontaneously combusting. They could be walking down the street and I'd be like, hey, nice threads. And they'll be like, thanks. And then they're just like totally explode. It's going to be disgusting. Awesome. Our outfits look great, well, though. We all look thanks. I still have that honest. shirt. Well, that's all for today. Oh, yeah. Show. I know. Make sure to tune in next week when we'll visit Hot Pink Cosmetics and peek into the new Poly Pink Eye line. Should be pretty exciting. Until then, thanks for Pretty tuning exciting? In to what the hell does that I'm even mean? Charles. And I'm Diamond Dumont. See you next week. 
A brief of turkey, everybody. A fashion. A treasure. A fashion. Talking trash. Well, hey, what can we say? You gotta start somewhere. And you gotta end somewhere, too. So thanks to everyone who likes, shares, bought merch, submitted to our birthday episode, or just plain enjoys watching us here on Boku Askew TV. We have crap tons more in store for you guys in the future, so make sure you stay tuned. So cheers to you, our viewers. If it weren't for you, well, quite frankly, we'd probably still be doing this crazy shit anyways. But we truly appreciate all of you so very much. And thanks for celebrating our fifth birthday bash with us. I'm Cinnamon Charles. And I'm Diamond Dumont. See you next time. A squeegee surf tea. Welcome to Castle Asshole. <laughs> <laughs>